Oh, oh shit! What is up, guys, and welcome to another breakdown of what really happened here. My name is Ernest Page, and this is not all I do. I do work for Cosmetics today, Ignition, and here at Performance at Page, we create content reviews and also do stuff like this. So today, a bunch of you messaged me, and I know when something like that, when I get one of these from one of my friends, I know within minutes. People from Instagram and Facebook are going to message me and say, please do a breakdown of this one. So, who am I to say no? And I actually kind of really want to do this one. So, let's get started. There's a lot to unpack, but everything did happen pretty quickly. So, let's start from the beginning. No nice handbrake turn around the corner there, on the gas. Perfect. On the brakes, into the car, people go flying. Oh, shit! Guy swears, and this guy holds his drink like nothing happened. Let's start from the beginning. So, number one, came into the corner here on the handbrake. Now, we see the car coming in and out of view there. Oh, and there are kids in the background. There's kids there. Oh, no, dude, man. No, bro. Remember the last time we spoke about the different types of handbrake turns? This is the one that, this is what the Opal driver tried to do. Because uh, 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 these guys both got different parts of the maneuver wrong. The Opel driver got the middle part wrong. This guy got the dismount wrong. So, into the corner on the handbrake. So far, so good. Uh, you can see car's got big angle very early on. So, he's already lined up. All he needs to do now is just drive the car down the road straight. But I think he panicked a little bit because he came too fast. So, with... A front wheel drive car, when you get sideways, and I've experienced it every time I lost it on the track, when you get sideways, you don't have to correct as much as in a rear wheel drive car. In a rear wheel drive car, you don't have the front of the car pulling the car out of the slide. So in a front wheel drive car, if you go into a slide like that, and you correct, and you put your foot down, the wheels are going to go in the direction that they're facing. Now in this case here, the direction was the pavement. So his foot at this stage here, or just before this stage there, you can see there, the wheels are now facing this way. He's already executed the handbrake turn, bro. It's a win. It's a win. Slow down and go home. This is a win at this stage here. But it quickly turns into a loss. So what he does now is he puts his foot flat right because he wants to drive away into the distance and still look cool whilst endangering the lives of others that was when he made his slice tsk, tsk. so now there at this stage there that's when the car pulls and the wheels pull in the direction that they're facing remember i said the wheels pull in the direction they're facing he put his foot flat the wheels did that the front of the car did that so now he's facing towards the pavement. Now, I don't know if that's his hand on the side though or what. It looks like he's sitting quite weirdly. But I think it might just be the panic that's sitting in now. Can we just acknowledge that this isn't a Polo hatchback? This is a Polo sedan. So this is probably a company car. It's probably an Uber or something. And this guy's doing a break turns with it. So at this stage now, the car is now, the car has changed direction. And when you change direction on a car, it's difficult to get it to change back again. Because he's going, let's say, 40 k's an hour, 30, 40 k's an hour now, straight towards that pavement, straight towards the red car parked on the side. Yeah. At this point here, yeah, things are going bad. Things are going very, very bad. And he now has what we call object fixation. He's looking at that red car. It's a bright red car. Red is the, literally designed to catch the human eye. So as soon as he came around this corner, I don't know if he rehearsed this before, if he was part of the party. I can only assume because they were recording it that he was part of the party. He came around the corner and as the whole scene opened up, he lost control of the car. And now he's looking straight at that red car. So at this stage, what he should have done is look back there and his body would have sorted out the details to get him back there. That's weird how that works. I mean, I've made a mistake exactly like this. It's weird how that works where when you look away, your fingers and your eyes and your legs do the calculations to get you out of the problem. But when you're staring at the car, your body goes into panic and all your foot does is slam on the brakes like we see. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
So, at this point here, right, there is nothing that he can do. The only thing that he can do maybe is mitigate the problem. So, there's this thing that they do at advanced driving courses with a teacher called cadence braking. Okay, so cadence braking is for panic situations because it's difficult to stay calm in a panic situation. We all panic in panic situations. I called upon my skill and panicked in a panic situation. So cadence braking is something that I know the guys at Kilani Advanced Driving uh, Master Drive, they do that, they, they teach you that there. So what happens is you brake hard and then you pump the brake pedal so that you still have steering. Now you can see he's trying to steer there. You can check he's trying to steer there, but that ain't happening, friend. That ain't happening. So he's trying to steer there, but because he's hard on the brakes, the brakes are locked up, the car's not going to steer. The ABS, is, even if this car does have ABS, it's not helping him because, I mean, it's probably bouncing up and down, so the car can't, let, there's not enough grip to turn. But if he had let off the brakes here, the front might have gripped a little bit, and yeah, he probably would have hit those people. So maybe it's a good thing that he went into the car. The other thing is that in certain situations, there is no good outcome. In certain situations, there's no good outcome. You've already messed up, bro. You're now either going to go into the wall or you're going to go into those people. So you need to choose which one is it going to be. And he chose the car, thankfully. And then, bang. You don't see his reaction as he hits, but man, that was a violent bang. And check this guy's legs. He is getting the hell out of there. Lady, I don't care about you. You should be fine. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm glad that lady got out the way, eh? Yo, I'm super glad that lady got out the way, bro. Oh, I'm super glad that lady got out of the way in time. Because if she was in between that car, this would have been a massive... I wouldn't have made this video. That would have been a massive problem. So... Well done, lady, for going in the right direction. And that's another thing. Like, I was at my first job at the track where I was taking photos of cars racing. I remember a car crashing and coming straight for us. And you can't, you can't go where the car's going. You need to choose where the car's most likely not to go. You know what I'm saying? It's a weird, weird situation but you need to choose where the car is most likely not going to go and then run towards that place. And luckily, everybody here did the right thing, man. Sure. That could have ended way, way worse. Sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kudos to this dude. This dude, you can look at the look on his face. He's like, oh, this is bad. This is bad. He's not celebrating this at all. He's just like, okay, I've got my drink, but this is bad. Polos are super easy to do handbrake turns with. Super, super, super easy. So he chose the best car for the job, but still didn't manage to pull it off. Again, disclaimer, please be careful out there, guys. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do shit like this. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channels. Comment below. So let me know if there's something that you see that I don't. But this looks like a clear cut. I don't think anything broke on the car. Oh shit! I think this guy just fucked up. Thanks for watching.